Hey everyone, Zdrave here and welcome to Racket Club Overview. Yet another title from Resolution. It's always good to see them back, considering they always go for polish and titles that really set themselves as a standout on the platform. And the concept seems intriguing as well, so seems like we're good to go. <laughs> so Racket Club is a racket sports simulator game where you hit the court in this brand new discipline that was specifically created for VR that combines various mechanics to create a hybrid to enjoy and immerse you in a real Racket Club experience. Just like Pickleball is some sort of a new thing around, this project seems to be literally aiming to create something new and the target audience is literally anyone that ever hold a racket on a court. The whole situation is revolving around being in a glass cage where you can bounce off balls and through physics interactions make up for some cool shots that you would never see it coming. The art style is pretty cute, avatars custom. I do wonder what's gonna be the dynamic because the courts seem to me relatively small. I mean I appreciate it because I have a small space anyways so not hitting anything around me in a sports game would be quite nice for once. I won't be dwelling more in speculations since you need to be inside the game to realize how things work and if that brand new sport is really worth investing in. By rule of thumb anything that resolution does is good either way so I should not worry much and straight up jump into the gameplay. <laughs> that is not my height at all. Oh that is. <laughs> I had to go on my tiptoes. Mind your language? Zero out of ten. <laughs> what the hell? How about this one? Ah, uh, that passed. So we can customize, but I'm not gonna play with it now. Though there seem to be a big variety. But then the rest would be unlocked by playing. Fine. <laughs> you call the ball with the trigger. Fairly nice. Over the net. Wow, that bounce. Ooh. Seems really nice with the physics. Not too strong and not too weak. Okay. Do I bother with snap turning? I don't think it's gonna matter really. Though I don't see the setting anyways. In terms of the graphics, at least inside, because outside... It's okay. 360... It's not a bad one, but it's specifically blurred out to just focus on what's happening here. Claps. Models look very interesting. It's kind of like cell shady, so... A bit out of style for this artwork, but... A tournament and play through tournaments. Yeah, why not? I mean, that was a very simple tutorial. Are there some rules? Like, I just need to pass the ball and that's it? I guess. So let's just see the main gameplay. Maui. I mean, it's basic ish, even for resolution. Especially here. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Tend to not volley too much. Okay, so there's gonna be a continuation of the tutorial. Must hit the floor before the back wall. So kind of tennis. Do not bounce the ball twice in the gap zone. Match starts. Your third. Foul. One. Zero. For me. Foul. Two. Zero. Your third. So I can't move at all, it's room scale. But it's not like the stage is big, even though the wall is already here. <laughs> Two, one. And I can't go back. <laughs> I would love to play this at my home. Damn it. <laughs> Why is he highlighted? I serve two, four. Uh huh. Foul two, five. Your serve. Foul two, seven. It's like I have only half of the space, which is not the game's fault at all. Two, nine. Your serve. It is dangerous to do the high ones because you can just straight up kill someone. Foul. Ah. First set. Two, eleven. Foul. Zero. One. Your serve. So maybe like the corners. Out. Zero. Three. I literally suck. Just like my nickname. Out. <laughs> Zero. Five. Your serve. Foul, zero, six. Foul, zero, seven. Your serve. What am I even doing? Are you kidding me? Bob Ross bit me. At least I was playing with a winner. <laughs> so now we have different uh, challenges or tournaments in other regions. This is pretty much the multiplayer, which should I bother to just see? Ah, why not? So we have an ice cream shop. People playing. Public matches outside. Hey, come on, come on, man! You want to play double? Yes. Yeah. Come, come. Huh? Guys, do you want to play double? Oh, shit. can you hear us? Six. Oh. Nine, eight, come. Eleven. Oh. The models are very like stuttery for some reason. And I feel like the quality is lower outside. But it is nice to see people being here and just playing around. Like that's 
a nice simulation. <laughs> I'll come back to my sack corner though. <laughs> We're in a Phuket. I can do it. Oh. Match starts. Your third. Foul. One. Zero. I'm not making excuses, but I'm just handicapped <laughs> by the situation. I want to utilize those walls. Out. One. Two. Your third. Foul. One, three. <laughs> Calm and collected. Select like points grow over time. Ah. Foul. One, six. Your sir. So, I wonder if it's good to finish early or prolong. That's an interesting mechanic. Out. Four, six. Works with me. Four, eight. Your sir. I'm not playing with double rackets. Out five eight. You <laughs> your sir. What can be the max? Foul. First set. Five, fourteen. You're using my disadvantage of me playing on a bed. It's falling apart. <laughs> Out. Zero. Three. Your serve. Foul. Zero. Four. Whoa. <laughs> Foul. Zero. Six. It's not fair. Foul. Zero. Eight. Zero, eleven. <laughs> I actually suck, who knew? Okay, but besides me completely being an ass in this game, I actually like it in terms of the physics and the gameplay itself. Simplistic art style, but it complements the overall ambience. The models here look pretty good, but outside it's a bit blurry. Probably just due to keeping a tight performance. Easy to understand, maybe hard to master because you have those walls that you can take advantage of and do some trick shots though. It's best to play this game in room scale because if you're just standing in one place then you're not really playing like you should be. The court is relatively small, at least in Sego. But even then, at least moving forward and backwards really would help a ton in the gameplay. Overall, I think it's pretty solid for what it is. I don't really have any notes. I guess maybe have smooth loco in turning, but 
that's pretty trivial to point it out. 